Alrighty, everybody, Steve here from The Buried Life, and today we're going to need some beverage for this. Okay, getting into the world of 3D printing, whether it's resin or FDM, or pretty much any hobby that you do that requires this transferring of funds from one person to a business or person in exchange for goods and services, and if those goods and services are advertised in one way, then the person who's buying that item should get what is advertised by said person or company. Uh, yeah, in this title, Creality K1C, it is, a, is it an all-metal extruder or is it plastic? And really, the spoiler to this video is it depends on where you look. Uh, this is really interesting because since I'm getting into 3D printing, I've done resin printing, I got a bunch of figures and stuff like that. It's really cool. Looking to get into FDM printing, holding out, doing massive amounts of research to get the best bang for my buck. And for my philosophy and purchasing an FDM printer is not to get an entry level printer, but to buy once and cry once. So in other words, I don't want to get a machine that just prints PLA and then later have to upgrade and then later have to upgrade and upgrade, you know, do manual leveling or, you know, I want all the bells and whistles. I want a large build area. And most importantly, I want speed, quality and great customer service. And after those three things, I also want to have truth in advertising. Yeah, and we've talked about things in the world of marketing, whatever it is, you know, top speed for cars, motorcycles, bikes, 3D printers. You're not going to be printing at the top speeds that is advertised by every single company that comes out there and advertises their 3D printer. You're going to have to ratchet back to, I would say as a rule of thumb, that you're going to ratchet back about half the speed of what they advertise as their top speed, in other words, to have a good balance between quality and speed. And think of it as your daily driver. You know, you can buy a car that goes up to 300 miles an hour, but in your daily activities of going to and from work, you're not gonna be going 300 miles an hour. You're going to be going substantially less because you want that safety, you want good quality. Same thing with 3D printers. Now, as I've been researching 3D printers, some people have asked me and said, well, what, you know, you don't even have an FDM printer. How can you, how can you make, you know, such statements about 3D printing when you don't even own one? Uh, that's a very valid point, and we're going to talk about that. My background is I spent a lot of time in the military. I had electronics training, I was in communications, I worked with AM, FM, UHF, VHF, tactical satellite radios, I did repairs and so on and so forth. Uh, yeah, so I got a lot of experience in the military. And then after I retired from the military, I was in, well, during and after I was involved with computers, I built, you know, a couple of computers into gaming, things like that. And then I got a job with the Colorado, uh, the state of Colorado as an electronics technician, where I dealt with putting in computer systems putting in programs, in other words, the kind of above user level stuff. I also ran uh, LAN cables, wired up classrooms and offices for phones and computers. I also did fiber optics and splitting and terminating ends on fiber optics. And with that being said, I also involved in security cameras, uh, hard drive, you know, saving and multiple backup systems, you know, on demand and, and to the point of where, you know, if somebody went through a zone, so in other words, I was involved in the switches and activations of certain zones where somebody opened a door, a camera would turn on or move and have PTZ access. Uh, so I, yeah, I've got a little bit of electronics background. Uh, at the uh, the last job that I did at the state of Colorado, I was responsible for more than, I'd say, about 900 cameras. A number of PTZs, we're talking high-speed, low-drag industrial cameras, Bosch, the whole nine yards. Uh, we're talking about video viewing systems and capturing and, and, and having video capture capabilities that were encrypted because they were used in courts of law. So yeah, it, I've, I've got some experience in this. So I know what to look for I'm them more than the average person. 
So with that being said, that's the background of which I'm coming from. But this right here of Creality, the K1C, which I was kind of excited about as I was doing my research a little ways back, and I noticed some discrepancies and some other people noticed discrepancies as well. Now, I didn't make a video on this, but yeah, we're going to take a look at all this stuff. Okay, now back in the day, the K1C, this is a picture showing that what they ended up doing. Let's see if we can get a, just make this up big here. What they ended up advertising was this here as an all metal extruder. Now, this is actually from their web page. Uh, from a way back, you know, you can you can do that stuff. And we can see a picture of these gears and they definitely look like they're metal. So when they say all metal extruder, enhanced reliability, up to a thousand hours clog free extrusion, that kind of paints a picture combined with the words and words have meaning that this seems to imply beyond a shadow of a doubt that the extruder and the gears of this extruder are all metal. And um, yeah, so this was on my short list of a possible printer that I was going to buy because if it had metal gears, that means it's going to have longevity, it's going to last longer. I'm surprised that it was... The thing that caught me back then was that if it's all metal for these gears, why is it limited to a thousand hours? of clog free extrusion. I, I just didn't understand that. I was like, okay, well, you know, maybe you have some problems with the Bowden tube. Maybe you have some problems with, uh, you know, maybe clogs in the hot end and getting that, that big blob of stuff that you get in uh, sometimes. So, you know, I was, I was kind of curious as to why it was limited to a thousand hours because it just doesn't make sense. You know, I've worked with industrial grade uh, cameras and computer systems and, you know, operations doors, I mean, security doors, control panels, PTZ cameras, stun fences, the whole nine yards. I, I've done a lot of stuff. Uh, backup redundancy systems for backing up footage from one hard drive to another to another. And uh, yeah, it just a lot of stuff. So so when I saw this, I was like, wait a second, that just that doesn't really make sense. But I, I was like, okay, well, I'm new to 3D printing. I, I don't know everything. I do have an electronics background. But I just kind of let that slide. But it just stuck out as odd. And at that time, I wasn't highly invested in getting an FDM printer at the time. We had some stuff going on in, in my life that uh, went down a really dark road, which was bad. Thankfully, uh, I got some help for some issues. Everybody has issues, okay? Just telling you that right now. But one... When I saw a recent video by Madstech, this really brought it home because I was like, oh, I knew it. I knew there was something wrong. I knew there was something wrong. And so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at this right here. And this was the video from Madstech. And this guy ends up here and he talks about it. Creality K1C all metal extruder is not what it seems. Hmm, interesting. So he goes through and shows all this stuff, the all metal extruder, enhanced reliability, a thousand hours clog free. And then he pointed out that there was some people that had been reviewing, like this guy, Victor 3D, Vector 3D, that he had taken apart the extruder system and found out that it was not all metal. And so, <laughs> which prompted this guy here to take apart his, and what we ended up finding is, surely, those are plastic gears. And, you know, he even takes the whole thing apart, and, yeah, it ends up, it's, it's just a bunch of plastic gears. You know, that's plastic, that's plastic. He even verified it with using a magnet, and, uh, you know, he, he does the whole thing. Um, and this this gear here is actually pressed into plast into a plastic gear. So you know, is it all metal? No, no, it absolutely isn't. You know, we we see this stuff here. There's plastic there. There's plastic on the other side. You know, these teeth here, these teeth here are all plastic. Uh, so I think these pieces here are metal. Is what he ended up saying. But making the claim that it's 
all metal extruder for thousand hours of clog free extrusion is absolutely untrue. Now this guy, he was he was not happy at all. He he was he he was a little he was a little angry about this, and uh, he did a follow up video where he asked Reality about this. You know they had him do a review, sent him, and he does his review. Of course, I like him because. He makes the claim and says that, hey, I am, you know, I'm going to be honest in my re in my reviews and tell them like it is, kind of like what I used to do when I did gun and gear reviews before YouTube took down all my gun and gear review videos because they didn't like guns. Uh, that's a whole nother story. So anyway, he makes a follow up video. In reality, what they ended up doing is changing their website, and so now they still use the same graphic. The exact same graphic that looks like metal gears. I mean, those, those all look like metal, but now they just call it cog-free extruder for enhanced reliability. They kept pretty much everything the same. This is great that they opened up and they said, but there was a number of other places where they advertised this as being all metal. And it so I, you can't say it was like, a translation problem you know Creality is a Chinese company and so you can't say you can't say well you know it's lost in translation you know the Bill Murray thing uh, we can't really say that because it appeared numerous times and even in their own language it said all metal so if you go into the Chinese and look in yeah, I went down the rabbit hole really far. So anyway, they changed all this to now say clog-free extruder, enhanced reliability, which is more truthful because those gears are mainly plastic. Yeah, um, I, this makes me wonder, I mean, if I had a K1C, which is basically a bamboo, uh, the bamboo clone of the X1C is... Why scan these scan these little plastic uh, gears, make them out of metal, or print them in a uh, in a metal like ABS like substance? So that way you do get pretty much close to all metal construction, or just have it milled out or whatever. I mean, uh, somebody should offer those parts, and I think that would be really great. But the problem is, is that it de still depends on where you look. And so considering Creality in the K2 Plus, which I'm kind of excited about, but then I wasn't because they did an immersive look on, a, uh, on the K2 Plus, and the guy, Kevin, doing the, the look at the K2 Plus, it was on a card, it wasn't plugged in, and I know they've done live streams, but he said this was the most in, in, immense or uh, it was the most intense look or something to that effect of the K2 Plus, and really, it just, it, it was so void of information, it really kind of just hit me. You had 10, you know, at 9 minutes and 16 seconds to make a video highlighting this, and you didn't plug it in, you didn't show any prints, you didn't talk about safety, you didn't talk, you know, you talked about the build plate, the CFS, but there was so much information that I know off the top of my head, I could have filled that 9-minute video with a ton of information. So anyway... Back to the K1C, which is basically, they're, they're trying to compete with Bamboo and their X1C. Uh, oddly enough, as I was checking Amazon online, what I ended up finding was something interesting. And let me see if I can find this. Da, da, da. Here it is, the, just to kind of look over, because I was looking to see if the K2 Plus was on Amazon yet, and I ran across the K1C. Uh, talks about up to 600 millimeters uh, per second of speed, which we know you're going to probably half that to get quality prints. Anti-vibration design, auto calibration, auto leveling, you know, tilt, uh, anti-tilt technology or tilt, you know, air detection and things like that. It's got, it's got a lot of cool stuff in there. It's got two cameras, one to view the build plate, another one to actually look from the extruder down onto the print to help with the flow rate, input shaping. It's got a ton of stuff. So as we go down here, and what do we see right here? The, there. All metal extruder kit ensures a clog-free extrusion of up to a thousand hours. That's what we end up seeing. And so for those of you, I mean, 
they haven't updated their Amazon. And this has been a while. So, you know, it, it kind of makes me wonder. <clears throat> it, 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 it's one of those things where it ends up, you know, we're talking about this and it talks about the, uh, the all metal extruder on their machine, on the K1C, on Amazon, you think that they would update that as well. But what we end up seeing is basically tantamount to false advertising. You know, I mean, is Creality, do they have some good products? Yes, they do. Absolutely. But the thing that bothers me is way back when I was first looking at the K1C and I saw that part about the all metal extruder. I, you know, I kind of put that on my list, you know, wrote that down. Yeah, I'm old. I still write things down. Put it on my list of things to, to look at and research and then life happened and kind of put that off to the side. So when this whole thing came out with Mads Tech, who, who published this video five months ago, uh, which is really interesting, and he did a follow-up video exactly when was this da, 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 da. yeah it was five months ago 27 january so it wasn't that long ago and he talked about this and other people talked about this all metal extruder advertising and it was a big push in their advertising and hype for the release of the k1c you know to compete with bamboo and then we find out it's plastic it's, it's, it's plastic. They changed it on their website, but when you go to the Amazon page, it's there in black and white. And which is interesting because maybe if we go down and we look at, uh, let's see, I, I'm not sure. Let's take a look, uh, another look at the Amazon page and see if it's still there. So... Dun, 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 customer ratings. Okay, the K1C is this right here. ABS plastic, blah, blah, blah. <coughs> Product description. All metal extruder kit. They still have it on their Amazon that it's an all metal extruder kit. Right there. Right there. All metal. We know it's not. And... <laughs> Oh, man, unicorn nozzle, which is, you know, I, AI camera for, you know, detection and things like that. But when you, you get to a place, and it's rated at 64%, one of the most recent ones, uh, some decent reviews, you know, eh, first print, blah, blah, you know, um, some people got some dead on demand. But when you still have advertising for the K1C on Amazon and you're advertising an all-metal extruder kit, when you've been called out by the reviewers whom Creality sent those machines to for free to do the reviews, and then somebody was just like had their review machine and they're like, hey, uh, I'm, you know, I'm kind of interested in this and, and I want to take a look at the uh the k1c and what what makes this thing up and you know what what is going on here with the uh this extruder and so on and so forth and on the amazon page that's what they have on the amazon page it says that it's an all metal extruder kit this Oh, this, this bugs me. This bugs me because here you have a couple of instances of where they were called out and it ends up that they, on their webpage, they fixed it, but on the Amazon page, they didn't. I'm, that bothers me. That bothers me because first of all, they advertised it as an all metal and even did the little graphic on their webpage that, you know, gave the impression that this was an all metal uh, all metal type of, there we go, uh, that made it look like it's an all metal gear thing for their extruder system, all metal extruder kit, and it wasn't. Mm, yeah, uh, they didn't even have colored plastic, uh, you know, for the gears. It was black, I'm assuming ABS plastic or whatever it is, injection molded plastic. 
uh, and it, it's not metal. So why would you go to the leap? Mm, this I I have to call it like it is. It seems like it, false advertising to me. Now, on the other side of the coin, once it was pointed out, they and Creality ended up changing it and saying, hey, you know, well, on our website, we changed it to say clog-free extruder. You know, forget the all-metal part. But then when we go to the Amazon, it's still advertised as an all-metal extruder kit. Come on, guys, gals over at Creality. This bothers me. This bothers me. And, and if, you know, I can understand that somebody made a mistake. But with what we see in the graphics and the animation that they that they made, specific somebody had to specifically tell them, make the gears look like they're made out of metal, and then we're going to advertise it as an all metal extruder kit, and then we're going to send out we're going to send out pla ones with plastic plastic gears. I mm, that that just rubs me the wrong way. And then when you get to the Amazon page, it ends up and they talk about it's an all-metal extruder and they still have this. And I, that just, that definitely rubs me the wrong way. I just, no, no matter what happens, this is what bothers me. So when companies do this, this makes me suspect as to their past products. There are also some YouTubers that said that, hey, they got machines that looked like they had been run uh, a lot of times that there had been some fixes and improvements to their machine so in other words it wasn't a brand new machine that they got like normal people would but they had noticed some things so that's kind of another thing that comes into play well when they send out machines to be re reviewed it seems like some of them are tested and improved upon and then sent out to the reviewers other reviewers I'll, I'll, to be the devil's advocate, uh, like that guy Mads, uh, when in his video he says he looked at his and it didn't look like his was pre-run before. But the fact that other YouTube reviewers saw that their machine had possibly a lot of hours run through and that there was work that was possibly done or indicated that it was possibly done that they would get a better outcome, ah, that, that just... That that doesn't help in the, the total, totality of circumstances here that we see with Creality. So what does this have to do? Uh, I think Creality needs to change and update their Amazon page because now on Amazon, these things can be delivered not only in the United States, they can be delivered throughout the world. So for example, I live in Korea. I retired in Korea and Amazon just recently said, hey, we're doing free shipping on certain items to Korea. And uh, let me double check and make sure uh, if I put in my Korean address here because I actually had things delivered. And uh, yeah, free shipping, but I'll, I would have to pay uh, an import tax let me show you right here. So I'd have to pay an import tax, as you can see over here on, okay, stop that. Over here, showing that it says $147.92 for import charges. You're going to have a VAT tax of things imported into Korea, but free shipping to the Republic of Korea. And so I could get it by July 10th, which is usually plus or minus a few days. But the fact is, is that Amazon is shipping these things out and they are still advertising that it's an all metal extruder kit is kind of problematic for me. Uh, I don't know. It just, again, it just kind of rubs me the wrong way that they haven't updated their Amazon page and that bothers me. That gets up my nose. So in looking for a possible larger build area printer and I was considering the Creality K2 Plus which I still am because it has a lot of good bells and whistles but with the past performance and what we see in this advertising debacle mistake we fixed it on our web page but we didn't fix it onto the Amazon page uh, that makes me kind of standoffish a little bit now, I don't know about anybody else. That's just how I personally feel. Now, can it end up, is it, is it 
was it lost in the sauce and they just forgot? Yeah, probably, you know, probably one of the bigger websites that sells our products. Uh, we forgot to update that. Let's see how many, they got 48 ratings there for the K1C. Uh, we don't know how many have been sold through Amazon, but uh, yeah, it just kind of makes you wonder, are, are we still going to see these same things? It, it, it brings into question the integrity of the company. Uh, they just changed it. They changed their website and, you know, didn't, didn't, from what I can find online, Creality didn't reach out and throw anybody a bone by saying, hey, by the way, we advertise an all-metal extruder system and actually all the gears are plastic, even though what we kind of show up here is that they look like it's metal and even on the Amazon page it says that it's an all-metal extruder kit. Uh, we're wrong. We changed it to better reflect what is actually in the extruder kit, which is plastic gears or clog-free enhanced whatever they ended up saying what is it what do they say now clog free extruder uh and so we're going to throw you a bone and give you a gift certificate or something no they didn't even do that <clears throat> that doesn't sit right with me either i would rather a company be honest and up front and say you know hey uh we advertise this this isn't what we put out in our final product we hope you understand that there's no hard feelings, that there wasn't any, you know, animosity in this, and we just want to make this right, and so we're going to give you a gift certificate or something. But they didn't do that. Where other companies in other hobbies and activities or things that you buy, uh, other companies who experience the same thing, advertise one thing, and they what you got was different, the company made it right. And uh, as of this time of this video, Creality hasn't done that or that I have found online. So if Creality has done and made this right for people who were under the impression that the all metal extruder kit was, you know, the bee's knees, and now you find out it's plastic, did they send you an email, a text? Uh, did they give you a gift card or any way? Did, did they even just say, sorry, you know, we, you know, we messed up and you actually just have plastic gears in your extruder, uh, I would love to see that. But this goes on to show uh, kind of the problems that you will see, not just in 3D printing, but you will see in open markets. And that in this capitalistic, you know, competition that we have to make a better product and advertise a better product, do some companies and people, do they bend the rules a little bit? Do they break them? Do they exaggerate? And of course, you know, there's always some, you know, some exaggerating of things to sell a product. But what is the line that breaks that to go from exaggerating and hype and marketing and selling versus false advertising? Where, where's the line? So I just wanted to come over this, and, and again, as I was kind of going through the videos this morning, I thought that was kind of interesting that uh, a number of people on YouTube have pointed this out that, yeah, and they actually changed it. That guy, Mads Tech, when he contacted Creality, they were kind of, they were quiet for a while, and then he did another follow-up video. And then they ended up, because he has a ton of subscribers and other YouTube reviewers were finding the same thing, so it seems like, okay, now we're in damage control. Quick, change the wording on the website. And no one thought to change the wording on the Amazon listing for the Creality K1C. Doesn't fill me with a lot of joy. Doesn't fill me with a lot of joy. And as much as I still want the K2 Plus to be a home run ha grand slam out of the park, uh, this is going to make me a little bit more apprehensive. It's going to make me wait to purchase the K2 Plus and to see what other reviewers... And now reviewers are like like the guy Mads. Mads Tech, he was like, you know, I review. They send it to me. I review. I do honest reviews. But it's like, how far do we go now? Do we have, do we have to, like, tear the, the machine apart to actually see that what is advertised is actually what you're getting, you know, the majority of people are not going to do that. But again, 
that would this would be a main selling point for me is that if it was an all metal extruder kit because that talks about and I would pay more for that. I would absolutely pay more for an all metal extruder kit. And even if they just offered the metal gears on the side and saying, well, you know, you can get the basic version of the clog free enhanced, or you can get, you know, we also offer the gears in metal, you know, for $30, $40, whatever it is, I would gladly pay that money. But I just want the truth in advertising. Uh, give me the option of get the Barney Basic pl hardened plastic. Or let me also have an opportunity to get an upgrade kit so all of those gears are metal. Just go that route. You know, you could, you, actually, that would make more sense because then you can get the people and say, you know, well, hey, uh, I don't mind the plastic gears. It's not a big problem because I can get replacement parts for them. Uh, it's not that big of a deal if it lives up to the claim of a thousand hours of clog free extrusion. But then you have the other people that are like, well, you know, I will pay. For a little bit extra to have all metal extruder kit you know give me the gears that are made out of metal and if Creality created those things and had an upgrade kit they could make money on that as well so I think that would be a win-win situation but the fact that they didn't come to that conclusion again and they didn't update their Amazon page to reflect reality that's troubling to me personally. Now I'm not down on Creality. Creality has some real good machines, seen some great reviews on their products. Other reviews are kind of lacking <laughs> for quality, but that's where we are in 3D printing. You know, some you know, even the bamboo X1C, you you get people that pull it out of the box, they get awesome prints, they never have any problems, and then you get people who get the bamboo X1C and they're bricks. They end up that they have to go through, you know, customer service and change this board out, change this and, you know, or even exchange the machine out totally. So you're losing some time on printing and doing cool things with your printer. We're not at that stage in 3D printing where the technology and the quality control is to the point of where it's like a microwave, you know put stuff in, press a button, bing, it's done and it's made and you'll have 99.9% .9 reliability in that machine, like microwaves. We're not there yet, so I understand that. You know, when I was working electronics and working in an industrial setting with all of those things that we ended up doing, we and we were buying high-end camera systems. We're buying high-end, um, you know, hard drive video capture, record, backup database, the whole nine yards, we still had errors in those systems. And we always kind of built in and said, you know, well, if we're going to order X amount of these cameras, we're going to order an extra 5% because we know we're going to get some dead on demand, dead on delivery. And of course, you have the warranty that if it's, you know, but you need those cameras now. So that's why we would always order extra because through our experience, you're going to get some dead out of the box products. So, you know, and we're talking big names like Bosch, you know, we're, we're talking some high quality equipment. So even at that high quality industrial end, you're going to get some dead on demand products or dead in the box products once they're delivered. Uh, you will still get that in the 3D world, uh, the world of 3D printing. So anyway, I just want to give my two cents on this. And this applies to any company. This applies you know, you should do your due diligence. And that's why a lot of the times in the past, I can't buy something as soon as it comes out of the gate because there are problems. So anyway, uh, you know, for example, Uncle Jesse ended up doing a video on, let me see, Uncle Jesse FL Sun S1. I think he just recently did a review on the FL Sun S1. No, I don't want that. I want that. And what Top he... Top 10 mistakes that I see beginner video. No, I don't want that. I don't want sound. But what Uncle Jesse ended up doing was a video because he got the FL Sun S1 as what we end up seeing here. And what he found out is that it prints too fast. It has problems with support. Some of the profiles that it has for certain filaments and, and, and materials, 
is problematic. And of course, that's going to be fixed over time. But again, another reason of why I'm not going to buy something out of the box is because you will always, at least at this day and time, day and age time, or whatever we're in, uh, users will still be beta testers to some degree with where we're at in 3D printing technology. So yeah, it ends up, uh, you know, he had some prints that came out good. He had some prints that, uh, let's see, where are some other ones? Yeah, he had some that, that just didn't end up coming out well with the supports, mainly with the supports and things like that. And some of the, the artifacts on the print itself ended up being kind of wonky. So anyway, uh, this is a lesson not only for... Uh, just Creality, but for other companies as well. And when you're looking at getting a 3D printer or anything, and you need to do your due diligence. And especially when it comes to 3D printing or anything else, I, I'm going to wait until somebody else buys it. I'm going to wait till somebody else tests it and reviews it and gives their honest opinion because that's where the rubber meets the road. And then even more, when you get the people that do massive amount of hours of printing with these products, that's where you really get a feel of where, yeah, all the hype and this is awesome, this is awesome. And then the reviewer's like, eh, yeah, I don't use it anymore. I, I, these are my tried and true machines that they recommend. And so there is some good information that you can glean from the people that do these reviews. So anyway, I just want to talk about this. And I just found this really interesting and this conundrum of how Creality is still advertising their K1C on Amazon as having a clog-free all-metal extruder kit. And they haven't updated it. So Creality, if you're, if you're watching, please update your Amazon page. I would really appreciate that. Truth in advertising, you fixed it on your web page. You just need to take the extra step and update your Amazon page to reflect what is really going on with your extruder kit. Uh, and I think people would appreciate the honesty. And if you could make those gears, metal gears, and offer those as a premium, up, premium upgrade kit, in other words, an additional purchase, you could make money off of that as well. That, that's what I, I would pay money for that. Uh, so anyway, that's going to be it for the video today. I thought this was kind of interesting. What do you think about this? Or what do you think about advertised claims versus what happens in reality? Is it, a, is it just a gray area? <clears throat> How do you feel about this? Um, in the grand scheme of things, is it going to, is it going to make that much of a difference? Mm, maybe, maybe not. You know, if they say it's all metal and you're going to get a thousand hours of... <coughs> excuse me, of clogged fr free extrusion, now that we know that those things are plastic, is that claim of a thousand hours, does that still stand? Or does that mean, need to be adjusted as well? That inquiring minds want to know. So uh, that's, that's, that's all. Anyway, so that's going to be it. Anyway, hopefully you guys and gals have a great day and do be sure to uh, be sure to like and subscribe to the video and the channel. I would appreciate that as we continue on being retired in Korea, doing resin printing and getting into 3D printing and painting miniatures and doing some fitness stuff and expat retire overseas stuff. I would really appreciate that. Alrighty, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Love to hear what you have to say. Peace.